Good morning and welcome to our Church School Appreciation Sunday. Traditionally, this is the Sunday when we express our appreciation for all of our church school volunteers and recognize the academic advancement of the children and youth here at St. Andrews. This year, like so many church services and youth programs, we are modifying the events which normally take place today. The Church School Council expresses their gratitude for all of the volunteer church school teachers and shepherds who meet with our children and our youth every Sunday. Thank you for joining the faith journey of the children and youth here at St. Andrews. To the grandparents and the parents and the guardians who faithfully attend our services, whether it is online or in person, um, thank you for letting us be a part of your child's faith development. And to the church school council who work so diligently to create safe, comfortable, faith-based fun programs on behalf of the congregation. Thank you for your dedication and for your passion to serve. Normally, this is the part of the service when we call up the children and youth so that as a community, we can congratulate them as they move from one grade to another. Now, this event is still going to take place, but it's going to happen when we're all together again in the fall. So keep your eyes on your emails and watch our social media accounts for any updates. To the grade eights who are part of class of 2020, we haven't forgotten about you and you'll be included in that recognition service come the fall. Today, we are celebrating our high school graduates because come the fall, some of you might be away studying far from home. And as a community of faith, we want to acknowledge your accomplishments and send you off knowing that we will be thinking and praying for each and every one of you. So congratulations to the class of 2020. You made it to the end of high school. This year probably is nothing like you imagined. Chances are your past four years were filled with some amazing memories. Great times spent with friends, with some big wins in sports and arts and music and academics. And there were probably some losses and probably some times when you had to be really resilient as you got back up and learned from your experiences. I am sure some of you passed some major milestones, like who remembers grade nine exams? And you probably put a lot of work uh, into what you were doing at school and now you're ready to move on to that next stage of life. So let's take a moment and recognize our graduates. Now that we know who our graduates are, let's talk about what's next. And grade eight grads, you might want to listen up as well, because while you may be moving up on a smaller scale, you might face some of the same challenges that our high school graduates will face. At this point, you've already made some big decisions about what's going to happen next. And there are many more decisions still to come. Some examples could be, who will your friends be? And what will you do with your time? How will you handle your money? And how will you treat people? From here on out, every choice that you make in your life is up to you. And those choices will have a big effect on the quality and the direction of your life long after high school. Maybe that kind of responsibility is exciting Maybe it's terrifying, but either way, I'm sure you're feeling a lot of pressure. So let's take the pressure off. Decisions for yourself isn't the same as making decisions by yourself. Is your responsibility growing? Absolutely. But you are not alone 
as you work out managing all of these new responsibilities. Right now, even in these days of physical distancing, you have family members who care about you, who are here for you anytime you need advice, encouragement, or just someone to listen. You also have a church family who knows you and loves you and will be praying for you and cheering you on in this next stage of life. So even though you are getting ready to move on and move out, you are not moving away from the relationships that matter to you in high school. So I encourage you to call, to text your parents, to video chat with friends and families and mentors. Keep them updated on your life. Let them encourage you, let them support you and celebrate this next year just like they are celebrating with you right now. So remember, even though graduation may not look the way we thought it would, the celebration is still on. So on behalf of everyone who's with you watching this video, um, and on behalf of everyone who is at home watching this video, congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you, and we cannot wait to see what happens next.